Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Ayaz Malik, faculty in the College of Medicine from Khalid University and I'll be presenting our study titled The Comparative Study on Computer-Based Tests and Traditional Paper-Based Tests in a Medical College in the Southwestern Region of Saudi Arabia. The theme of our study is assessment and we are aware about how information and communication technology has come a long way to bring about major changes and advance in the field of medical education, especially in, in e-learning. However, there are some countries in the West who are using these technologies for their summative assessment, though right now it is limited mainly to licensing examinations and formative assessment. The reason for this is because there are some concerns with e-assessment, such as it requires an expansive infrastructure in, in the form of finances, equipments, uh, manpower, space. Also, the internet speed and connectivity are some issues that can limit the examination process. Of course, there is training required for the faculty and the students on how to use these devices. And last but not the least, the reliability and fairness of the examination also needs to be addressed before advocating computer-based test. In view of this, we conducted these computer-based tests and uh, we tried to compare the scores obtained by the students in both the forms of tests. And we also uh, tried to study the validity and reliability of these computer-based tests. So for that, we designed a cross-sectional study which was conducted in the Department of Medical Education, College of Medicine, Khalid University. We had two cohorts of final year students as a study group. Uh, one of the cohort were the students who appeared for the exam in 2019 in pediatric surgery and obstetrics. These students gave the exams traditionally on paper. So two such examination marks were taken and average marks were calculated. Similarly, for the second uh, cohort, we had students who appeared in 2020 for the same three subjects. Uh, these students gave the exams on iPad. So two of those tests marks were uh, taken and average scores were calculated. All the students were trained regarding the use of these iPads for the computer-based tests. And apart from that, we also had a dedicated team from the IT department and trained faculties who were present during the examination at all times in case of any adversities. Now coming to the both tests, for the paper-based paper test, we had a uh, 60-question MCQ test, which were uh, randomized into four sets of uh, modules. The students answered on an OMR sheet. These OMR sheets were then scanned using twice using a spectronic scanner. Then the marks were analyzed, compiled, tabulated, and declared. For the computer-based test, this was again an MCQ-based test with 60 questions. This, these exams were conducted on the iPad through the Blackboard Learning Management System. We had an option to auto-randomize the questions and the options as well. So every uh, student had a different set of question paper. Now, one of the issues with the computer-based test was the fairness. In order to uh, take care of that issue, we logged the iPads with a browser called as the Safe Exam Browser. This browser locks the iPad into a particular web page, which cannot be changed. Neither the student could exit from that page. Uh, uh, and the students were not able to open, open any other app on the iPad, except for this web page. Apart from this, we also had a dedicated uh, server, which was uh, used for the examination purpose and for no other purpose. The responses of the students were entered on the iPads directly and the marks were then saved into the grade centers with the blackboard. Item analysis was done and the results were Then the scores of the students in both the forms of the tests were compared. Uh, also the difficulty index and the internal consistency of both the forms of tests were determined using the KR20 formula. A score of more than 0 0.7 was considered reliable and acceptable. Coming on to the results, uh, as we can see uh, in this uh, bar chart that there was uh, no difference in the marks obtained by the students in medicine and pediatrics. Although there was some difference in the marks in gynecology, but uh, this change in the marks was not statistically significant. Uh, this is a very important table which actually tells us about the reliability of uh, both the tests. As we can see, the paper-based test and the computer-based test had almost similar reliability, uh, having a, a KR score of 0 0.75 and 0 0.78 in case of medicine and similarly in OBS and there was a slight difference in pediatrics but they were not significant. Uh, so uh, important findings that we observed was that the marks scored in both the forms of the test 
else were comparable and importantly when we talk about the reliability both the CBT and the PBT showed similar reliability. To conclude, when we talk about features of any assessment such as validity, reliability or fairness, uh, we did not find any disadvantage of using a computer based test over a paper based test. Uh, because the marks obtained by the students were similar, the KR20 scores were similar and we ensured that the iPads given to the students were secured by using a, a safe exam browser which locked the iPad and also by using a dedicated server. Uh, however, there are some advantages of using uh, CBT such as it reduces the paper wastage, it uh, minimizes the chances of errors because the scores doesn't need to be calculated, it directly enters it to the blackboard and there can be a quick result declaration time. Hence, we may say that uh, CBT may be an excellent alternative to the traditional method of examination but still many more studies has to be done in order to substantiate our finding. These are our references and thank you very much. Have a good day.